Hello friends, welcome to my channel Ihira Techies. In this video, I am going to provide the solution for one of the deprecated item in Angular. Okay, so that is can activate in card. So before going to the implementation, let me provide some details about this card. So card is one of the interesting feature in Angular. Basically, it is used for restricting the menu navigation. Okay, and we have to use this card in our Angular routes. And in this card set, we can implement the custom logics and also we can call the services. So basically, it will return the Boolean value. Okay. If it is returning true, it will allow for the navigation. Similarly, if it is returning false, it is restricting the menu navigation. Okay. So here the problem is if you are using latest version of Angular 13.2, this can activate interface is completely deprecated. Okay. For the solution point of view, Angular suggested to use the plain function. So since we may need to implement some logics and also uh, it's don't have the constructor, then using this inject option, we can complete our dependence injection related operations. Okay. So this function having two parameters, one is route and another one is the state. This route is nothing but an activated route snapshot and state is nothing but an router state snapshot. Okay. So now let me start our implementation. So currently I'm having one Angular 16 application, the same solution actually I'm using for our NGRX series. First, let me create one card. Okay. So we have the Angular CLI command, ng generate card. So the short form I have used G. We can create inside the folder of card. So let me provide the name is auth authentication. I provided the short form is auth. Okay, here we can see what type of card would you like to create. We have the options are can activate, can activate child, can deactivate, can match. We can choose this can activate. Okay, so you know our art card is created. It's defaultly returning as true. Okay, and if you are using the lower version, basically it is implementing this can activate interface. Instead of that, currently we have the functions only. So now let me move on the app routing model. Okay. So currently we not defined any of the route. So let me create some of the components. So my first component is home and already I have implemented the counter from Schulte. So let me create one component for the counter. So finally, let me create one more component that is for block. Okay. Our components are created. Let me verify it. Yes. So next in our app routing model, we can define all the routes one by one. And the default path is empty. Here we can provide the component is home component. Okay. So similarly, I'm going to create two more routes. The second one is counter and the third one is block counter components and another one is the block component so let me save this one so now i have defined the basic routing here we can use our art card can activate art card okay so let me apply this for our blog also so next let me move on the component side if I'm checking this counter component, nothing is there. So let me copy from our app component. So these are all the codes implemented based on my uh, NGRX tutorial. I just move here. Okay. Now if I'm checking the default showing as the home works. So that is coming from our home component. Next, if I'm providing counter, we can see our counter. So similarly, if I'm using blog, Okay, blog words. So our navigation is working fine. So anyway, let me include the menu also. So let me create one more component. Menu header. Okay, the component is created. So since I'm going to use the menu, let me import some material UI models. Toolbar. And also let me import this menu. 
and another one is icon similarly let me import this models also okay we are good so next let me copy this selector in our app component okay see now it is coming like this matte toolbar so color we can provide primary and the class we can provide matte elevation okay here let me include one span tag this is for the title I can provide ngrx tutorial because this solution I am using for the ngrx tutorial only okay so our menu is coming so here we can include our menus similarly we can include the next to two menus okay this is all about the design so if I'm clicking this counter it is navigating if I'm clicking this block it is simply navigating okay so next what I'm going to do so in our card side instead of this true let me return false so we can refresh the page currently we are in this home menu so if I'm clicking this counter see the navigation is not happened so similarly if I'm clicking this blog also the navigation won't happen okay so the reason is it is simply returning as the false so next what I'm going to do here we can implement one logic so let, so let me check the menu if the menu is block then I will allow otherwise I'm going to block okay for getting the current menu we can use this route parameter okay so that is our activated route snapshot only so constant current menu so route dot url path okay so here what i'm going to do let me check so the current menu is blog means I'm going to return as true so in this CLC scenario so let me provide one alert no access or else we can provide access denied okay so let me format this one so again currently I'm in this home page so if I'm clicking this counter it is saying access denied and if I'm clicking this block it is allowing see the text is changed okay so next what I'm going to do so if I'm clicking this counter only I'm getting this access denied right so instead of that let me try to provide this URL counter see again we are getting this access denied message but at the same time it is not navigated to anywhere so even though we are able to see this our URL but uh, we cannot see our a uh, home text okay that is our home words so let me change the text also okay okay this is fine okay it is not uh, navigated so let me implement the navigation also from our card itself so here the router is needed so if you are using this constructor we can directly inject so since we don't have the constructor let me use the inject option okay so constant router equal to inject so here we can use the router next once I'm show the alert after that this router dot navigate we can redirect into our home that's it see now currently we are in this home page so if I'm clicking this block okay so similarly if I'm clicking this counter 
it is showing the access denied message and also it is redirected into our home page okay so next let me explain how to call the services in our art card so already we have a created service there inside the shared folder so that is the master service here we don't have any function what i'm going to do let me create one small function have access so defaultly i am returning as the true okay next in our card side we can use one more inject option so service equal to inject here we have to use our service name master service okay so here first time checking if the service dot have access if it is true only I am checking these all the conditions so in this else scenario we can put this access denied message and also return false navigating to our home menu so let me save this one so currently we are in this home page so if i'm clicking this block it is allowing the counter is defaultly blocked so we can command that code if it is having the access we can defaultly provide true see currently we are in this home page once again so if i'm clicking this block it is allowing so counter also allowed and also we can navigate our home page also okay so from services if i am changing this into false we are able to access our home page but if i am clicking this counter it's saying access denied so blog also access denied even if i am directly provide the url also we are getting the same access denied message it is simply redirected into our home page okay so this is the way we have to use art card in our latest version of angular and also we can use all of our custom functionalities we can call our services also so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching